Hello, it's me again. I am currently trying to get out of my school's parking garage. They have like amazing here. I, I don't know. This is trippy sometimes. So going through like some video ideas and stuff that I put down. One thing I put down was bullying. Um, before I get into that, I have like only just only just recently started like making like a list of video ideas that way now I can kind of have like all my thought all my thoughts and like concepts and whatever all in one place and then I can like add stuff or take away stuff whatever um but one thing I wanted to mention was bullying and I guess my experience with bullying you know stuff that I've went through um I wouldn't really call myself a bully like if I've ever bullied anyone if I have it wasn't intentionally or if I have it was like you know making fun like just playing jokes on your friends whatever um but yeah so I guess when it comes to bullying starting at like the beginning it'd be like when I was five years old I used to take the bus to school and there would be like these two older kids that would bully me, you know, I just, so basically, I was five years old, I just started kindergarten, and, um, I'm having, like, these two bigger, older kids, like, push me around on the bus, you know, the bus driver isn't doing anything, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how, at least I don't remember how open I was to my parents, I don't know if I ever said anything, um, but I would just ignore them, which is kind of like, you know, bad move number one. Like, when it comes to your bully, you just don't ignore them. Um, unless, like, if they're causing actual physical harm to you, which, like, they did. They would, like, push me off, like, the bus seat. They would, like, you know, push me around. They would, like, poke me and stuff. Um, and then, of course, they would, like, call me names and whatnot. Um, and I didn't, like, stand up for myself. I didn't do anything. Um, I don't think I properly contacted the adults in my life to be like, hey, you know, I'm being messed with. And so that led me to kind of just kept getting like pushed around and whatnot um, in my life or not in my life. Sorry, no, just within that year, uh, at some point, I don't know if I ever did. No. Yes, actually, I do remember I did say something. I actually did kind of say like, you know, why do you guys treat me like this? Why do you guys be so mean and stuff? Because I think at some point I did. I either opened up to my mom or I either opened up to my dad. And they told me to to do that, to speak out, to say like, hey, why are you guys treating me like this? I don't like this treatment. And after that, I remember they, they stopped. They stopped like pushing me around. They stopped, you know, poking me. They even try to act more friendly towards me, which is like, you know, very interesting. Um, just how little children work. So it's like, you know, that's like, one thing, you know, you have to do, you have to confront your bully. You have to confront the person who is oppressing you physically, at least. Um, that way, it's like, you know, it's not like uh, you're being pushed around like forever. That way, you you actually have some control in that situation and you're taking accountability. You're kind of taking accountability for what other people are doing to you. Um, at the end of the day, like if your bully is someone who's just verbally abusing you, at the end of the day, you are responsible for your own reaction to what it is that they're saying to you. You know, they their words cannot have any control over your life. You have to kind of like realize that and you have to know that. Um, OK, so fifth grade, not fifth grade when I was five years old and then other bullying situations. I just remember like the most rampant ones. Um, so when I was younger, uh, this is kind of like an often thing that that happens to like little black boys where like they get their head shaved uh, and they're like bald basically because it's like, you know, the mom or like the auntie, whoever is just doing their hair for them instead of taking them to the barbershop. Um, like no offense to my dad, but you know, he was trying his best, but when he would cut my hair, I'd like damn near be bald. And so I'll get made fun of in school for like being bald or baldy, stuff like that. Um, because my hair would get cut like so low. And then moving on to middle school. All right, so I was big. I was fat around like 
my uh, last couple years of elementary school and then middle school, I was basically a fatty, fat, fat. And um, of course, I was getting made fun of. It would talk about my man boobs at the time I had developed gynecomastia. And, you know, they would constantly talk about my man boobs. Some people would come in and, like, flick um, my my <laughs> my boobs. So it's like, uh, you know, I'm just being, like, made fun of relentlessly. And then um, around middle school, that's when everybody was like, oh, yeah, you need to grow your hair out. So And I was, like, one of the only ones who didn't grow their hair out. So people were like, bro, you're bald-headed or you got short hair or you got a messed up head, fat head. You know, they would swipe the back of my neck like it was a credit card. And uh, just, you know, all the usual fat kid stuff, whatever. Um, you know, I don't know. It was just, it's just a lot. I mean, it's not like the, these are like traumatizing events or whatever. Um, in my opinion, I believe that kind of like when it comes to bullying, um, you know, I think there are many aspects of bullying that aren't necessary and, you know, it should be something that is controlled and something that like, you know, proper adults should come in and look after and whatever, uh, because, you know, your teachers that are getting paid, like, you know, ch chicken scratch, uh, could care less about if like a child is, you know, being verbally or even physically abused in their classroom. Um, as long as they're not hurting anybody else, <laughs> then it's like, they're not going to do anything. Um, so yeah, so, you know, but it's not like, you know, I'm saying all types of bullying is okay, but I'm saying like, let's say someone just says you're a fat head. I mean, that is a way to kind of like build character, you know, um, you know, cause you can even just think of what they're saying and rationalize it. And just like, okay, am I really a fat head? Is my head really that fat? Does it really make sense for them to call me a fat head? Does it really make sense for them to say that like, you know, my dick is small if they've never even seen my dick. It, it doesn't really make sense for them to say, like, you know, all these other things, your mama ugly or whatever, if they've never even seen my mom. So it's like, you know, at some point you're just kind of build like a more rational mind. But if someone is actually putting you in physical danger and there are no adults in your life that are trying to do anything, especially the adults in that specific environment, like teachers, faculty, staff members, whatever, no one is doing anything. And uh, so you need to step up. You need to stand up for yourself because, uh, you know, your mom and your dad, they can't be there. You know, I know some people's parents will act a fool and they'll come to the school and, you know, <laughs> they might be someone's child. But most of the time, like you have to develop that type of skill for yourself, because just in life in general, you can't always call upon your mom and your dad or your folks to come take care of the situation, especially a physical situation for you. So it's like, you know, maybe. Um, maybe if you're going through this right now, like maybe you're a kid in middle school, you're in high school and you're going through the top, something like this again, like first thing to do is just to call them out. Like, Hey man, why do you do this? Like, why do you do that? Like, why do you mess with me? Why do you do all these things that like irritate and like aggravate me? You know, why are you poking me? Why are you doing all this? You know, you just have to point that out. A lot of times they'll stop. Um, sometimes maybe. I don't know why they'll just keep going. And sometimes it can feel like as if they're targeting you specifically, um, which is an example from high school. Like, I think I was in 10th grade and it was this one guy. I think he was like a senior or maybe he was like a year older than me. Um, he was like in a in some type of finance class or whatever um, back in high school where he would like um, every time I would say something, not every time, but. A lot of times he would say something, he would like mock me, repeat me like, oh, yeah. And then I went over there to the store. Oh, yeah. And then I went over there to the store. And then I'm just like, bro. Um, I remember one time I was like laying my head down, like sleeping in class. We had a sub. We didn't have anything going on. So I'm like, I'm just going to lay my head down until, you know, uh, they, they call for the end of class. And like he like slapped the back of my neck. I look up. Everybody's laughing. And it's funny because his friend who be over here, you know, riding on him, like, you know, following him like a puppy, like was literally like pointed to him out. Like I didn't do it. He did it. And, um, well, you know, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, um, to kind of stand up for myself at that moment. I just laid my head back down. Um, you know, and it was,
was crazy, like, just seeing all the looks people gave me, especially, like, at that time, like, uh, there were, like, some attractive, like, girls in the class, and seeing them, just, just me, just putting my head back down and doing absolutely nothing about what happened to me, it was kind of, like, almost humiliating, you know, and, um, it's like, I had never been tested, I had never had, like, my, me my metal tested to a degree like that, to where, I would actually, it would make sense for me to, you know, stand up and like, you know, bark a little bit or do something instead of just taking that. Um, sometimes I think like, you know, if I could go back to that moment, but, you know, I'm not going to ponder over that too much because, you know, or at least I'm not going to think of that situation like that. I'm going to take it as a learning moment and just to make sure I adjust, you know, to whatever is around me if I'm ever put in a situation like that again. So that way, you know, it's like, you know, I can show people that like, hey, you know, don't mess with me or like, you know, don't mess with me like this, whatever the case may be. And that's something we all have to, you know, apply. Now, after high school, not after high school, this is still high school. Coming back, um, you know, I had you know, an ex, an ex that like, you know, was very dissatisfied with the way the relationship went and whatnot, and she was trying to, like, you know, naysay me and, like, you know, say all these things about me and whatnot uh, to my friends or just to other people that kind of, like, knew knew me. Um, and it caused, I wouldn't say it caused many problems because she was already kind of seen as, like, someone who was problematic. And so I was just kind of able to, you know, not be any 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 type of, like, stressful situations or anything um one thing is that like a lot of the stuff that she said she never said directly to my face um you know or in person never even like you know tried to shoot me a text message or anything trying to be like hey you're a stinky head you're a boo boo head you're a doo doo head you know nothing like that so again like that that is a form of bullying you know trying to destroy your reputation, um, you know, to slander or sully your name, stuff like that. But a lot of times those people won't come and say anything to you. A lot of the times those people won't do anything because they're not really about it, bro. Like they're just trying to be like behind the scenes. They're not trying to be all up in your face about it. And like those people, you just got to watch out for those people, you know, um, you know, watch out who you associate with because, Sometimes that just can just come back and like bite you in the butt. And now you're trying to deal with somebody who's like, you know, I don't know, has no type of regard for like, you know, how you feel in any of the situation. Uh, OK, now bullying coming out of school. No, I, ha I have not experienced any bullying. Um, you know, there there's been little to no situations to where. I've had to worry about, um, like, you know, if I'm going to get bullied at, like, at work or at school or at college, I mean, since I'm in college now, um, nothing like that, you know, it wouldn't make sense because we're all just, like, grown adults. It wouldn't make sense for grown adults just to be, like, actively bullying each other. Now, you know, who knows, you know, maybe you are in a situation like that where maybe you're at your job and... Your job is just mostly like older people or you're in college for whatever reason you're getting bullied by people who are paying to be there or people who are getting paid to be at a specific place um, instead of focusing on them they decide to devote some time and energy to bullying you now there are other ways you can be bullied not just like you know being made fun of or you know being physically attacked at least in the real world right there are other way. There's stuff like cyberbullying, right? Which, honestly, bro, get off your phone, bro. Get off your phone. Get off your laptop. Get off social media. Why? How are you getting a cyberbully? I never understood that, to be honest, bro. Like, close the app. Someone is texting you on Instagram saying, "You this, you that, blah blah blah." Bro, close the app. Now I know there's other ways where people could do something where they possibly like take a picture of you without you knowing or take something like maybe something that you said to them in private like maybe you trusted this person at one point in time and you gave them information or whatever and now they're like over here like leaking stuff or they're over here like saying this type of stuff 
that is a form of bullying and that is very unfortunate especially with the way the internet is now um so like for people who are in high school now i don't know how it works in different places of the world so we have something called like getting exposed right and that's when that's usually when someone gets like naked photos of them basically leaked to the school right so let's say jo- joseph sorry if your name is joseph joseph is talking to veronica they're not dating or anything but you know joseph is talking to veronica and like you know veronica sends him some like you know pictures and then he decides to share all these pictures of veronica and then they get around or like let's say they had it. Let's say maybe they were dating. They had a really bad breakup. He's salty about it or whatever. And then he decides to leak these pictures. Um, you know, the other thing can happen, too, where like. A dude sends a picture of a girl uh, of uh, sends a girl, a picture of his like, you know, his thing wing, his thing wang. And um, she she's salty. She gets mad. They break up, whatever. And then she leaks like those photos, you know, to the school or whatever. Um, that is a form of bullying. That's a horrible form of bullying that like you get those private parts out there. And then what really has to happen? You just have to exercise precaution, bro. Like you just cannot just do not send any pictures like that ever. Um, you know, like high school relationships, bro. Like, honestly, man, I would say it's a waste of your time, but a lot of people can end up flourishing, having beautiful, flourishing relationships outside of um you know coming out of college but in general uh, most college not not college sorry high school most high school relationships are just fluff and you shouldn't be sending those types of like imagery or photographs to to anybody you know whatsoever um not even if you're married or older like there's no point why are you sending a picture of your of your wiener you know why are you sending a picture of your tatas or your or your butt like just wait till you get in person is much better that way um you know even if you have a bunch of trust in this person uh to not share those things or whatever just still don't do it because like now it exists within digital media and digital media exists like forever um so yeah but back to cyberbullying like okay if it's like someone's like talking shit or whatever someone's talking smack on instagram or snapchat whatever just close the app close it i mean what can you do just block them then it's not there anymore and then someone comes to you in school says like oh so and so said you know said this about you or whatever then what you do is like well did you hear it from me or what did they did they tell you did they actually tell you oh where's the proof whatever so we shouldn't be caught up in these things at least with cyberbullying and with regular bullying we shouldn't you know we should find ways to mitigate that, you know, stand up to your bully and whatnot. Um, you know, just exercise precaution and just try. And of course, like in physical altercation situations, you know, where someone's beating on you, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You know, there's there's like no choice, especially if no adults are getting involved. But yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next video.